the finalists for the Goodreads Awards are posted. Let's see who made the cut. Hi everyone, it's Kaylee and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go through and see who got the, who made it into the finals of the Goodreads Awards. It got posted this morning. I have done my hardest to try to stay off of Goodreads today, at least stay off of the the page. So we're, you're gonna see the results with me for the first time. So let's dive right in. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, like I said before on the last video, I'm only going to vote on the book for books that I've already read, but we will go through all the uh, categories and see who was nominated. So for best fiction, once again, I haven't read any of these. Uh, the Wishing Game is on my TBR and I have a hold for it for the audiobook version, but I haven't actually read anything yet. Um, historical fiction, I know I'm going to not have read anything. Historical fiction is not my genre and yeah, I was right. Mystery and Thriller, I'm pretty sure I hadn't read any of these. Nope. Okay, so Romance is next, so we're going to skip that. And we're going to do what we did in the last video, if you watch that. And we're going to jump from down to Humor at the end, and we're going to backtrack. So for Humor, I hadn't read any of those again. But there's still some good ones that I think might need to be on my TBR. History and Biography, I probably didn't read any of those. Nope. Uh, memoir and Autobiography. Okay, um, I've read Counting the Cost, and I've read Spare, uh, Britney Spears is on my TBR, uh, Page Boy is on my TBR, but of these two, Spare was the better book than Counting the Cost, so we're going to vote for that one. Nonfiction, I probably haven't read any of these. I tend to, I don't read a lot of nonfiction when I do, they're like parenting books right now, um, so yeah, no, nothing. Okay, Debut Novels. I have not read any of these. Once again, Wishing Game on my TBR, but nothing for any of the rest of those, so we're not going to vote. Young Adult Fiction. Okay, um, so I've read, I can't remember what I voted for last time, but I feel like it's not on here. I've read Rain, but I'm not going to vote for it. I haven't read The Brothers Hawthorne, but I have read the other three books. Um, I've read no, I tried reading One of Us is Lying and I just couldn't get into it. Imogen obviously is on my TBR. I DNF'd Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute, which I was really sad about because I love Talia Hibbert, but I just couldn't, couldn't connect with these characters, so I did DNF that one. Um, I have finally read Check and Mate. I hadn't by the time I recorded when I recorded the first one. I did read this last week and I really enjoyed it. I do not, however, think it, that it should be listed as a YA novel. I 100% think that it should be a new adult novel, a closed door new adult novel. It is not a YA book, but um, if you want to know my feelings on that, I will link my description, my review for that book. So it's hard because I want to vote for it because I loved the book, but I don't want it to win new adult or young adult category. But because it's the only one that I've actually won and it's so much better than Rain, I'm, I guess I'm going to have to vote for it. But I honestly, 100%, it's not a YA book. YA adult, YA fic, fantasy and science fiction. I'm guessing I haven't read any of these and I would be correct. I do still have Divine Rivals on my TBR. I'm waiting for the audiobook, uh, but I haven't read any of those yet. Horror, I'm not going to have read any of these because horror is, once again, not my genre. Nope. Science fiction, probably not. Nothing. Fantasy. Probably not. Now that they've added the romanticy category, I'm going to say I probably haven't read any fantasy. Um, no, but I do have this one on my TBR, like that whole series, but I haven't read any of these yet. Romanticy, I'm going to assume that Fourth Wing made it on. Yeah, it did. And as is the last time, that is the only one of these that I have read. So we're going to vote for it. And now, last but not least, is the romance category. Okay, so um, Wildfire, I read. I loved it. Five stars. Seven Year Slip, I enjoyed it. Wasn't my favorite book by her, so I probably won't vote for it. Uh, the Right Move, I haven't read. I read book one in her Windy City, Windy City tr trilogy series, however many books there's going to be, but I haven't read this one. Love Theoretically, I read and I really enjoyed it. 
Things We Hide from the Light was book two. I liked it the best out of the three, but it wasn't my favorite series. Um, final author, final off, final offer. Uh, I read this one. I did. I liked it. It was four point five stars. Happy Place. I read it and I did enjoy it, but I'm not a huge Emily Henry fan. I'm just not. I haven't read um, King of Pride yet. It is on my TBR, but I'm going to read her Twisted series, I think, first before I get into her Kings of Sin series. Still haven't read Romantic Comedy, and I loved Abby Jimenez. I loved, loved the anxiety representation in this book. So I think because of that, because this is the one of the first books where I, as an introverted, anxious person, was seen in a character so hard, I think I'm going to vote for that one again so yeah so those are all the books that I voted for and all the books that were made it to the finals check back with me on December 7th and I will post and we'll see who won the romance category um, once again as you can see I voted for yours truly I loved 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 the anxiety representation in this book it was one of my favorite books all year that I read and I am not at all sad about my vote for that and I'm really happy it made it into the finals so yeah what did you vote for in the romance category or was there a book that you thought was missing and should have made it into the romance category let me know bye